get an in-depth look at the life of Kelsey Grammer, the iconic actor known for his roles in Cheers and Frasier. Learn about his personal life, including his ex-wife and four children. Explore his luxurious house and car collection, and discover the details of his lifestyle and impressive net worth. Join us as we delve into the biography of Kelsey Grammer, from his early days to his successful Hollywood career. Don't miss this exclusive insight into the life of a television legend. Kelsey Grammer is an American actor. He gained fame for his role as psychiatrist Dr. Fraser Crane on the NBC sitcom Cheers and its spin-off Fraser. Born, February 21, 1955, age 69 years, Charlotte Amelie, U.S. Virgin Islands. Spouse, Kate Walsh, M. 2011, Camille Meyer, M. 1997 to 2011, more. Children, Greer Grammer, Spencer Grammer, Mason Olivia Grammer, Jude Gordon Grammer. Parents, Sally Grammer, Frank Allen Grammer, Jr. Siblings, Karen Grammer, Betty Grammer, William Grammer, Stephen Grammer, John Grammer. Awards, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Kelsey Grammer, net worth $80 million. Early life and education. Kelsey Grammer was born in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Grammer's mother, Sally Kramer, 1928-2008, was a singer and actress. His father, Frank Allen Grammer Jr. was a musician, owned a restaurant called Greer's Place, and owned and edited the Virgin Islands View magazine. He had one younger sister, Karen, and four half-siblings from his father's second marriage. Grammer's personal life has been shaped by many family tragedies. Following his parents' divorce, Grammer was raised in New Jersey by his mother and maternal grandparents, Gordon and Evangeline Cranmer. The family later moved to Pompano Beach, Florida. Shortly after, Grammer was 12 years old when his grandfather died of cancer. In 1968, his father was murdered in St. Thomas during a wave of racial violence following the assassination of Martin Luther King, Jr. in 1975, his sister was kidnapped, raped, and murdered in Colorado Springs. In 1980, his two teenage half-brothers died in a scuba diving accident. Grammer attended Pinecrest School, a private preparatory school in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was there that he first began to sing and perform on stage. Grammer later won a scholarship to study drama at the Juilliard School, where he was a member of Group 6 from 1973 to 1975. However, after his sister's murder, Grammer failed to attend classes and was eventually expelled. Born in St. Thomas, Grammer described himself as a Caribbean kid and that he enjoys vacationing in the, the Bahamas U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. Career 1977-1983, Theater Work and Early Roles After leaving Juilliard, Grammer had a three-year internship with the Old Globe Theater in San Diego in the late 1970s, before a stint in 1980 at the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Grammer acted as the burglar in the L.A. production of the George Bernard Shaw play Too True to Be Good in 1977. In 1980 he starred in the Roundabout Theatre Company's production of A Month in the Country. He made his Broadway debut in 1981 as Lennox in Macbeth, taking the lead role when Philip Anglum withdrew after receiving negative reviews. Grammer then played Michael Cassio in the 1982 Broadway revival of Othello, alongside James Earl Jones and Christopher Plummer. That same year, he portrayed Codename Lazar in the public theater production of the David Hare play Plenty. In 1983, he performed in the demo of the Stephen Sondheim James Lapine production Sunday in the Park with George, starring Mandy Patankin. Personal Life Grammer has been married four times and has seven children and one grandchild. His first marriage, to dance instructor Doreen Alderman, lasted from 1982 to 1990 although they were separated for the last six years of that period. They have one daughter, actress Spencer Grammer, born October 9, 1983. Through Spencer, Grammer has one grandson, born on October 10, 2011. After his divorce from Alderman, Grammer had a daughter, Candace Greer Grammer, born February 15, 1992, with hair and makeup stylist Barry Buckner. Candace was later a cast member on MTV's show Awkward. His second marriage, to Leanne Suhani in September 1992, lasted one year. 
When Suhani was three months pregnant, Grammer filed for an annulment and evicted her from their home, Grammer claimed she was abusive and fired a gun at him. The pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. In 1994, he met 28-year-old Tammy Balazewski at a bar in Manhattan Beach, California. In December 1994, they appeared together on the cover of People magazine, announcing their engagement and Grammer's substance abuse problems. In August 1997, Grammer married dancer and model Camille Donatacci. They met on a blind date in 1996. They have a daughter, Mason, born October 2001, and a son, Jude, born August 2004, both born to a surrogate mother. During their marriage, several of Grammer and Donna Tachi's homes were featured in magazines, including ones in Malibu, February 2001, InStyle, Maui, May 2004, InStyle, Long Island, April 2008, InStyle, Bachelor Gulch, Architectural Digest, and Bel Air, Los Angeles, Architectural Digest. In New York City, they lived at 15 Central Park West. On July 1, 2010, it was announced that Camille had filed for divorce. The pair's divorce was finalized on February 10, 2011. On August 12, 2010, Grammer announced that he was going to be a father for the fifth time, with his girlfriend, Kate Walsh, an English flight attendant 25 years his junior and daughter of the former footballer Alan Walsh. In October, Grammer announced that Walsh had miscarried six weeks earlier. The couple announced their engagement in December 2010 and married at the Plaza Hotel in New York City on February 25. 2011, two weeks after the dissolution of Grammer's third marriage. Grammer and Walsh have a daughter, born July 2012, and two sons, born July 2014 and November 2016. On January 18, 2023, it was reported that Grammer had purchased a house in his wife's hometown of Portishead, Somerset, England.